Now the title of this video is why you should avoid online dating, right? But actually it's not an absolute. Uh, let me explain. See, like every mating strategy, online dating privileges certain people for certain quality and of course uh, you know, hurts the chances of other people because they lack those qualities. Uh, think about it. See, when you're online dating, uh, what do girls uh, privilege? What, what do they pay more attention to? They pay more attention to your picture. You go on Tinder or Match or whatever, and yeah, your picture is there, and it's the first thing that the woman is going to see. Your picture, not your presence. Because you see, a picture represents you. But when you are in the presence of somebody else, they actually experience you. They experience your personality. They, they, they get a sense of who you really are because, you know, they're, they're, they're two feet away from you. And, and that lack of distance, because that's what photography does, it distances. That lack of distance with an immediate conversation, right? It gives a woman a sense of who you are and perhaps you're not very attractive, but the force of your personality and who you are or at least who you're showing this girl to be, well, that will impress her much more than just the visual. But online dating privileges the visual. It, it gives advantage to those people who are photogenic. So if you happen to be photogenic, yeah, you're gonna do really well. And if you are not photogenic, online dating is gonna give you the impression that women only care about the visual. Let's see, this isn't true. Women don't prioritize the visual in general. The women who are dating online, they do. Th that's the thing, see? It, it's a, it's a self-selecting kind of mechanism for finding a potential mate or a potential sexual partner or romantic partner or whatever you want to call it, right? A woman who goes online to Tinder, to Match.com or whatever, well, she is by definition a woman who reacts more strongly, more viscerally to the image of somebody rather than to their presence. Whereas a girl who's more interested in who the guy is, who's more interested in, for instance, his confidence level, how he projects himself out into the world, she's not going to pay that much attention to his looks because that's not the priority for her. You see? The, the girl who's online looking for a romantic partner, she wants a good looking guy. The girl who isn't online, who's out in the world, she is prioritizing other things more than looks. You see what I mean? Yeah, and so online dating is not good if you want to find a woman who doesn't prioritize looks. Uh, that's an awkward sentence. Let me rephrase it. See, a girl who's going to prioritize uh, a guy's presence and not really pay attention to his looks, she's not going to be online on Tinder or Match.com or any of the other dating sites because those prioritize the visual and she's just not going to be that interested in that. And she might have experimented with that for a bit just to try it out, but she found herself, you know, talking to guys who might have been very attractive in so far as the, the visual is concerned, but that just didn't interest her. And so she'll fade away from those kind of app, apps or, or dating sites. Whereas the women who remain on those sites, they are superficial women. By definition, it's a self-selecting mechanism. You see what I mean? But now this isn't answering why you should avoid online dating sites. Now, let me explain why. You see, when you are successful online, you know, when you are successful at attracting women online, how is this happening? Well, it's because you're curating the images that you're showing and you're doing great uh, uh, message game, right? You're, you're good at the direct message. And so, you know, those guys who put up photogenic uh, pictures of themselves, right? Uh, not necessarily how they actually look, but the best pictures of themselves. Those guys will attract attention from women. And the guys who, that subset from that group, who are good at DMs, they're gonna get the girls. But see, when they actually meet the girl, the qualities, the abilities that you need to get a girl in real life are completely different from the abilities you need to get the attention of a girl online. Think about it. You see, in order to attract a girl online, you gotta be good looking and you have to be good at DMs. To attract a girl, to get her hooked on you in real life, 
you have to have conversation, you have to have a dominant presence, you have to be self-confident in the real world. Those aren't the same qualities. And it could be very well that you're really, really good online and you suck in real life. Yeah, you, you have great online game, but you don't have IRL game. And so because of it, see, you're gonna set yourself up for failure because you're gonna attract all of these women online and you convert this attraction into in real life meetings. And what happens in those in real life meetings? Well, because you don't have in real life game, you fail. And so you attract women online, but fail in reality. And what happens to you because of it? You get frustrated, you get upset, you get like, you know, what the hell's going on? So what you have to do is not go online. What you have to do is go out in the real world and work on your IRL game. Yeah, that means that you have to go up to girls on the street, on campus, wherever, and you gotta talk them up. Yeah, that's how you have to work at this because you see, you're probably online and you're probably you know experimenting with different online approaches. And at first, you probably sucked at the online dating approach, right? But then with practice, with different iterations and different strategies that you tried out, you eventually got good at online dating. Well, the exact same thing, you have to apply it in the real world. Rather than approach some girl online, you gotta go out into the real world and talk to a real woman. And of course, you're gonna flame out and bomb the first few times, the first dozen times, or two or three dozen times, as the case may be. It happens to everybody, you know? You will bomb, but eventually you'll correct. You'll correct and get better. But that's what you have to do. You might be good online, but the real test of it, or what you really have to do is get good in the real world. Now, if you get good in the real world, and so far as game is concerned, then you got it made. And then online dating opens up a world of possibilities. Because you see, walking around on the street, even a busy city like, I don't know, New York City or whatever, right? You're going to meet X number of women, right? But it's gonna be relatively hard because of course, you know, the, the women who are out on the street at some shopping center or wherever you might run into somebody, there are going to be fairly few who are you know, on the hunt for a guy, right? More likely than not, you know, some girl that you approach on the street, she's just gonna be going who knows where, to class or to an appointment or to work or whatever, right? She's not gonna be interested in, necessarily interested in talking to some guy. And so of course, in the real world, it's going to be tougher to approach a woman. But if you get good, then you go online where everybody online is specifically looking for a romantic partner. I mean, that's why they're on Tinder, that's why they're on Match.com and all the other sites, right? Well, if you go there, then you can get the girls online, meet them up in real life, and with the qualities and skills that you've acquired in the real world, you'll clean up, you see? And so that's why online dating is a boon for somebody who is good in a real world game. Somebody who's really good at getting girls in the real world. Yeah, he is going to clean up because all those girls there on Tinder, or whatever, they want to meet somebody. And they will gravitate to somebody who's good online, of course, but meeting in the real world and you got game. You're set. But if you go about it in the reverse, if you get good online, and then from those girls that you meet, try to convert, try to you know, get those girls interested in, in you in, real, in the real world, you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail and it's gonna frustrate you. That's why it's so important to learn game. I tell you all the time, game is essential. And game, yeah, you can do online game as it were, but it's not the same thing as face-to-face -face game, in real life game, okay? Game, that is the process by which you attract a woman uh, uh, by using certain algorithms and certain predefined steps in order to get a woman sexually interested in you. Well, that works best in the real world. But of course, there are so many variables in it, so many things that are going on, uh, so many moving parts to the machine that it takes a while to perfect them all. 
And that's why it's so frustrating for a guy who's good at game online. Because game online depends on two things. The pictures, having good pictures, and having good uh, uh, DM game. Being able to send messages that attract interest. Those are easy skills to master. But all the skills required for in real life game, your look, the confidence that you project, the topics that you're talking about, the way you physically interact with a woman, there are a lot more variables. And that's why it's more important, but it's harder. But once you master that, online game becomes just, uh, it opens up a world of possibilities.